It is 6.15, and uh, as you can see behind me, can you see back there? It's just about sunset. And um, one of the things that this group of heavy duty RV haulers does, and the group has gotten smaller, is they set up and blow their air horns at sunset every night. Now, some people ask, what's the meaning behind it? When we were here two years ago, there was a group of bluebird buses all camped together here in the BLM area. And um, they, uh, every time one of them left the nest, they would all blow their musical horns. And if you've ever heard a bluebird bus horn, it's pretty comical. Uh, they have tunes and, and what have you. So the heavy duty truck haulers, the uh, our heavy duty RV haulers, decided they needed something to do uh, to show their presence here. And so what they do is at sunset every night, uh, they blow their horns. And so we're getting ready to hear them blow their horns here in a couple of minutes. Three, two, one, action. It's uh, 6.17. 6.17. What time sunset? 6.22. Okay, so 6.22, the horns are going to blow. I hope it don't break your camera lens. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you jumped when I hopped it? I, I did jump. I did jump. <laughs> so to let you know, the trucks obviously have to use their air pressure in the trucks to make the horns blow. So that's why they come out and they start up their trucks to get the air built up in the in the air tanks in the compressors, and uh, and make them make them honk. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna honk here in a few. And that's what it sounds like when a bunch of heavy-duty RV haulers honk their horns at sunset in Quartzsite, Arizona. What'd you think of that, Kel? Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Every night, it's just... That's a lot of fun. It is. That's so a lot much of fun. fun. That's awesome. And now you have the experience. That's right. <laughs> Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can As long as I'm able to get the monsters under your bed, deep in the biting, liking for you is all I need. Until my heart gives in, I will do everything I can for you.
Welcome to Quartzsite. Quartzsite, Arizona. Quartzsite, Arizona. We're taking our own rule. South of I-10. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in Quartzsite, Arizona, and we realize that some of you may not have been around for a couple of years. That was the last time we were here. So Quartzsite, Arizona is, as Kelly said, south of I-10. It's actually right on I-10. I-10 runs between Jacksonville, Florida, and Los Angeles, California. And one of our rules, most full-timers abide by the rule of during the winter months of December, January, and February, they try to stay south of I-10 because that's where the warmer weather is going to be for full-timing if you're chasing the best weather that you possibly can in the United States. Yeah, and as you saw in the previous video, we were north of I-10. Yes. And we had snow. Yes. So this is why I, south of I-10 is so important. So why do we come to Quartzsite? Well, we come to Quartzsite because of the Can-Am riding and the weather. The weather in Quartzsite during the wintertime runs between... Oh, 60 and 80 in the day? Yeah. Yeah, and 40 the mornings, at night. 40 to 50 at night. Yeah. So it's comfortable. It's a little chilly in the mornings, but it's definitely comfortable. Uh, but it's some of the... And it rarely, rarely, rarely rains here in the wintertime. Yeah, it hasn't rained since we've been here. Yeah. The population of Quartzsite year-round residents is about 3,800 people. But during the month of January, uh, it's estimated that the population grows to well over a million, and those are all RVers coming to the desert. Acres and acres of RVs. Yeah. Everywhere you look. So Quartzsite hosts a, uh, an RV tent show every year, and we missed it this year. We were here two years ago. Uh, but they host an RV tent show. It's kind of like a big flea market with a lot of vendors in, underneath a, a circus tent, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And they have a few RVs that they show uh, at the show, some fifth wheels, some pull-behinds, some uh, Class A's, some Class C's. There's a pretty good variety. But the people, most of the people that we know come here for the camaraderie. The BLM, Bureau of Land Management, owns well over 12 million acres in the Quartzsite area. And... It's you, all for us to play on. It is. And camp on. And camp on. So you can come out here, and we put out a video, I think it was about a year ago, on the differences between the Quartzsite, the BLM areas, between the LTBA, which is long-term visitor area, and the regular BLM land. So if you... If you camp uh, in the standard BLM area, uh, you're able to stay for up to 14 days in one location at no cost. But you have to be self-contained. You don't have a dump station, you don't have fresh water, you don't have garbage services, so you have to pack your garbage out, you have to find your own source of drinking water, and you have to find your own dump station. And there are services in town, in the town of Quartzsite, that take care of those items yes. for you uh, at a cost, at a fee. And it's called the Pit Stop. The RV Pit Stop. The RV Pit Stop. You can go there and get propane, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. dump your tanks, everything. All, all, all in one spot. Yeah, all at a fee. It costs, but it's pretty cool. And then also in the BLM area, they have what they call their long-term visitor area, which is LTVA for short. And there's four of them in the Quartzsite area, and they actually access a fee to stay on the LTBA areas. And the fee is $40 for 14 days, or, and you can renew it every 14 days, you can get another, uh, uh, you know, can, you can renew it for another 14 days. Or you can pay for what they call a season, which runs from September 15th through April 15th, so that's the winter season if you pay one, a one-time fee of $180, which is actually a pretty good deal. It is. It's a very good deal. And a lot of people do that. Uh, and you can come and go as you please with that 180 day, or $180 pass. You can come in. You can, you can come into La Posa South, which is where we are. You can go to La Posa North. Uh, you can come back to La Posa South. It just, uh, you, can, you can come and go as you please. Or you can go stay at an RV park for a couple of weeks and come back and, and you're your decal is still yeah, good. Yeah, still good. So what do you get for that $180 fee? You get a dumpster for your garbage. You have Not a, a personal dumpster. 
Not, no, not your own personal dumpster. <laughs> but no, but you can drive up like it's yours, <laughs> like a boss. Um, they have um, sewer dump station, and then right after that, you go right into the water station and, and fill up your water tank. Fill up your fresh water, potable yeah. water. Yeah. So those three services are in the LTVA, uh, the La Posa South LTVA, and that's part of your $40 for two weeks or $180 for the season pass. Yes, it makes it really convenient. It does. Uh, one thing that we really like about the quartzite area is the camaraderie. That's why most people come here. The million plus RVers that show up, most of them are part of a group. Uh, as an example, the Bluebird buses have a group that get together every mm -hmm. year. Um, Grand Design. Grand Design. Have their own. Yep, our tow behinds mm -hmm. have a, a group, a, a number of groups actually. Yes. Class A's. Class we'll A's, fifth wheels, mm -hmm. uh, oh, bumper poles. We just saw um, campers. A yep. bunch of trunks, trucks with campers on Truck it. campers, yeah. sliding campers. Yeah, so it's something for everybody. Yeah. So we really like the camaraderie, and when we come, we come here to meet up with other heavy-duty RV haulers. And as you could see, they blow their horns as, <laughs> as kind of their their tail to tarot, everybody that they're here. <laughs> and good night. <laughs> <laughs> So we come for the camaraderie, but part of the draw of the BLM land in the Quartzsite area is to get away from people. Yeah. <laughs> and to, to relax. Yeah. And not have to go anywhere or do anything if you don't want to. So if you want to camp together with 30 other rigs, you're welcome to do that. But if you want to get away and go tuck yourself into the desert somewhere and not have to worry about any other people, you can do that as well. And and this area is, is pretty well known for that. Yes, that's what I love about this place. It's something for everybody. It is. We obviously come for the camaraderie. We come with a, we meet up uh, with a bunch of other heavy duty RV haulers. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. It is. It gets us a chance to just have a place every year that we can meet that maybe yeah. we haven't seen them all year. Yeah. But we can meet them there and we can just hang out and just get caught up and just fellowship with them. It's just amazing here. I love it. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. So we, we come for the camaraderie and the side-by-side -side riding. Oh, yeah. Yes. There are, I'm going to, there's thousands of miles of trails in the area yes. on, on and there, BLM land. And a lot of our friends have side-by-side, side, so it really is a lot of fun. We had, what, eight, nine, nine last, uh, yeah. last time we went, and yeah. it was just fun. It, it, it was. Yeah. We've been on a number of rides already so far. Um, they range anywhere from just a few miles with some friends just to kind of get away from camp to 60-plus um, miles in a day, which right. doesn't sound like, like much to some of you that, that do some long-term riding, but for us, it's a pretty good day, and we get to go out, and, and there are some, we get to explore some old mines in the area. There's some old cabins, miners' cabins in the area. Uh, artifacts, there's some artifacts. In fact, we went on uh, one ride to Palm Canyon. Uh, we'll show it to you here.
What did you think of that one? Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> that was a fun ride. It was. That was one of the best rides we've had in a long time. Yeah. So as you can see, um, there's just, we, we have a blast. We just get together and have a really good time with, with friends and, and other HD tiers and other side-by-side -side mm -hmm. riders. And with fun comes the dust. Oh, yeah. And the winds. Yeah. And so that's something you have to think about, too, when you come is you're going to get dusty. It's okay. It'll be clean later. <laughs> yeah, if you've, if you've got an OCD uh, about dust, you don't want to come here. <laughs> no, because it's never going to be clean. <laughs> now, with our home, with this the new interior, it hides the dust really well. Yeah. So it's been really, really nice. Yeah. So when the wind blows, and it does, it does blow when fronts come through, it, mm -hmm. in fact, that's why we're indoors today, because yeah. it's just too windy to shoot outside. Uh, but when the wind blows, the dust comes with it. And you're going to have dust everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Nooks and crannies. Every little nook and cranny in the place. Yeah. And your shoes. I mean, we walk in from outside and we wipe our feet on our entry mat and it just goes poof. And the dust just flies everywhere. Don't even wipe your feet on it. No. Just just gently walk in because <laughs> it's it's going to go everywhere. We When we get done uh, visiting Quartzsite, we usually try to spend at least a week and probably two weeks at a full service, full hookup RV park, and we pull all of our window screens apart. We we pull a, we open up the windows. Mm -hmm. We dust out inside the window frames. Air we, vents, the air vents, yeah. the the little corners in the in the floor, because everything is going to be full of dust when we leave here. It is. Now that doesn't mean that this is desert desert. Quartzite is a it's a dirt and hard rock mix. Uh, so it's not like it's the Sahara Desert by any means. It's more of a rocky, hard rocky soil with dirt underneath. Yes. And we've never had an issue getting no. in. No. Uh, the only thing you have to be worried about when you come in, so as you enter the LTVA, the paved road, the entrance road uh, that you saw us come in on last week is asphalt. Uh, it's broken up asphalt, but it is asphalt. And that goes for about a mile. Once you leave the asphalt, it's a gravel road from then on. And then you just start looking for your other, for your places to camp. You know, you try to find a, a place that's either out of the way or you find it, try to find your friends that have given you coordinates to go meet up with them. <laughs> and the only thing you really have to watch out for is the washes. Um, the washes are kind of a, a dry creek bed uh, that when it does rain during the monsoon season, they get filled up with water and they carry the water away from the desert. The desert doesn't soak up the water. It just kind of runs over the top and then into these washes is what they call them. And then it goes away and those washes can get kind of deep. And so you have to be kind of careful going through the washes. Either either it's sandy uh, or gravelly, soft sand or soft gravel, or they can get kind of deep. And, yes, uh, and you don't want to take a travel trailer right. through that. We wouldn't even take ours through it. Right. We had to go all the way around, which is fine, and um, find a flat spot and turn around that way. So that's why we come to Quartzsite, and we... Are you still liking it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it here. Yeah. I mean, it's my downtime. Yeah. You know, if I want to stay in my pajamas all day, I'm staying in my pajamas all day. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nice. It is our downtime. We had a really, yeah. really, really busy fall. And this is kind of our, our chillax time, if you will. Uh, we've had a number of rigs that have left. I understand uh, from some of them in January at the peak, there were 30 plus rigs here with the HD yeah. uh, heavy duty RV haulers in the group. And now we're just down to a handful. Yeah, we're down to a handful now, but some really great people. Uh, we're, we're not sure how long we're gonna stay, but we're gonna stay until we get bored or it gets too hot to stick around. Yeah, or if something else comes up. Yep. Because we're in Jello. Yep. So anyway, we just wanted to share our experience uh, with Quartzsite with you and kind of give you a little bit of background information on Quartzsite. If you've got questions about Quartzsite or the, or the LTVA or the BLM camping experience, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer them the best we can. And if we can't answer, if we get enough, if we've forgotten something, you know, maybe yeah. we can show it up on next week's video. Oh, that's, that's right. So if you have a question you want answered and if we can answer it, Put it down below and we'll, we'll answer it on the next one. It's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. All right. So uh, hopefully we'll have some more riding to show you next week because we've just had a blast. We're, we've had, what, five, six rides already? Yeah. And it is 
Um, every one is just better than the last. Yeah. It's amazing. It's been a lot of fun. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up from Quartzsite, Arizona. It all starts with an idea. Hey, thanks for coming along, guys, and make sure you leave your questions and comments below. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.